second and third place in trying to make this world team. When you were down in this match, was there ever any doubt at all? Uh, not really. Usually there would be a lot of worry and, and trying to figure things out mid-match, but um, this year I, I had more fun with it. First match was a little slower paced, but uh, I felt like I was in control most of it. And then this this match I ended up down a little bit, got a little sloppy on uh, on a turn, I think, and then he ended up getting two more. So. Um, after that, I just kind of let it go and, and remind myself to have fun. You know, it's been, like I said earlier, it's this is my tenth year, tenth try to make the team, and it finally happened. So I just kind of last year I got caught up in the moment. This time I just try to go out there and do what I do every day. So you had a big throw in, in that match when you were down. What did you feel that allowed you to open up and get that throw? I was thinking about going, taking it down to uh, two points and, and hopefully keeping that trap arm. And all I can hear, I think it was Coach Lewis just kept yelling lift, lift, lift. So then I just said, all right, I'll try it. And I'm not much of a lifter, but it, it worked out, and just like I said, I just went with that. I was down points. I just need to start wrestling inside, and not worry about it. You said four years ago you nearly quit this sport? Yeah, um, 2016, uh, I talked to Spencer, and I told Coach Mangle in the office I was, I was just ready to be done. Um, this isn't a sport you do for fun. It's, it's my life. I take it very seriously, and if I'm training and giving everything I have every, every single day, and only taking fifth or sixth place, you know. That's it's, it, to me. It was time to move on. Um, and I wasn't gaining any ground. I was the smallest guy, and, and I was after 16. I was complacent with being done and doing army stuff. You know, I move on with my life and, uh, and go from there. So I, I didn't want to do something and waste someone else's time and someone else's spot. So who changed your mind? Uh, I talked to Spencer, and he just he told me to keep sticking it out. And I was living with my coach, Ali, as Gary, and he kind of relit that fire for me. And then. Um, you know, living with him, we were working out all the time, doing an incline three or four times a week um, out in Manitou Springs. And then everything just became fun again for me. And he's a big part of it. And then 55 kilos coming back, that really reignited that flame inside. So how are you feeling right now, given all that, that you've gone through to get, gone through to, get to this point? Uh, I feel really good. I, mean, I think in the past I'd be a lot more excited. Uh, I'm very excited, don't get me wrong, but you know, there's... The, there's a job I still got to do, and, and um, I had the last two years just looking for a world medal, um, trying to help the Greco program get back on top, and it's a it's individual success that's going to get us there because it's an individual sport, but if we do good as a team individually, we'll be back to where we were in 2007. Did you feel like the uh, big brother factor came into effect at all in this match? No, that's something I try not to think about. Um, like I said during the press conference, uh, the late Lindsey Durlacher was, was one of my mentors. Um, his brother Dave was my first wrestling coach. So, you know, and the things that Lindsey did for, for my, my, my best friend and I, Joe Ken, he'd come over to Joe's house and he put us through private uh, sessions on a mat about smaller than this, uh, you know, than, than this cloth. And uh, Lindsey would do that for us. And then I wrestled him in 2009 and 10. And um, kind of like I was, I was a little guy back then and, you know, try not to let, think about it. So now I'm on the other side. And I don't want to think, you know, have that same stuff going through my head that I did 10 years ago. So, I mean, Brady, Brady, I worked with Brady last year and always kept in contact with him and, and his family. So, they're great people and I just looked at it as another match. I, you know, I try not to look at his face, I just try to look at it as, as a body standing right in front of me. The gut.